Uh, these are also very commonly used in America. And if you see people uh, running around uh, in tunnels in movies in America and uh, hitting steam pipes uh, to try to get bad guys, um, then uh, that's the sort of thing that you're looking at in those uh, scenes. You've got a central plant and then you distribute the uh, heat either as steam or as hot water. Uh, burning wood biomass. Now, these have really taken off recently, uh, mostly in the form of log burning stoves, which have become very derigar, uh, very derigar in um, uh, residential properties. Um, and they're favoured. Um, burning wood, you think, wouldn't be terribly good for the environment, but they're favoured environmentally because in comparison with uh, using fossil fuels, uh, fossil fuels take um, the uh, carbon that has been locked up in solids or liquids under the ground uh, since the Jurassic period uh, and that's it out into the environment. Whereas if you burn wood, then the tree has taken carbon dioxide that's in the atmosphere now uh, and then turned it into a wood and then it then uh, gets sent back into the atmosphere when you burn the wood. So what you've got something is carbon neutral, which is a, a real bonus. Um, you have to, so if you get these, uh, a log burning stove is relatively straightforward to get going and they're kind of fun, uh, and very romantic things. Um, but they have some very commercial looking, uh, wood chip boilers. And so these, um, tend to look very fancy and very modern and cost an enormous amount to fit at, uh, 11 to 23,000 pounds. Uh, but you can save up to £650 a year, depending on where you're getting your, log, uh, your wood chips from. So the wood chips are usually the waste produ products of uh, uh, so, uh, people that are uh, producing timber, uh, such as timber furniture, sawmills, pallet manufacturers, that sort of thing. Uh, and they take the sawdust, which is um, extracted through their extraction systems, uh, and it goes into these giant bags. And that then gets compressed into uh, little pellets and you buy a ton or a few tons at a time and so it goes into a great big hopper. So you need a lot of space for these. And the hopper uh, then gradually drops this out into the combustion chamber of the boiler. And what you need to do is to empty out the sawdust every every week. Um, so these are um, still not really taking off and I, my question uh, about this is uh, just uh, how much sawdust we have available in the UK so there will always be a fairly small um, area of the market but they are uh, another option.